everyone. I am Alison Andrews, a CS student at Clustat, and today my presentation is based on the topic website usability. It is going to be about a walkthrough and comparison of websites. In order to do a website analysis, one must make reference to ISO standards for website usability. Firstly, the ISO 9241-11 defines usability in terms of effectiveness, efficiency, and satisfaction. Additionally, ISO 9241-151 gives a guideline on how website interfaces should be designed to optimize usability, which is actually covered in five broad areas. One, high-level design decisions and design strategy. This includes deciding on the purpose of the site and how it is communicated to users, who are the intended users and what are they trying to get from the site. Two, content design. What is the conceptual model online the site? How is it organized? And how issues such as privacy and personalization addressed? Three, navigation components. How can the content be organized to help users navigate the site easily? And how is the search organized? Four, content presentation. How pages and links should be designed to help users achieve their goals? And the fifth point is general design aspects. This includes issues such as internationalization, how to provide usable help and building of error tolerance. With these standards in mind, I am going to analyze two websites of two monumental companies, Amazon and Walmart. These two companies rank in leadership in the online shopping industry and both revolve around the same market. But are the kings of conquering a well-designed website? How do they compare in usability? Which one is better and more usable? In order to attain answers to this question, I am going to create a useful usability test, something similar to daily tax done regularly on these sites. The task is simple and straightforward. Here is a scenario. CX is around the corner and subject X wishes to purchase an iPad for his child for studying. He doesn't have the time to go to the store to purchase it, and besides he wants to research properly to find the best version. Subject X was advised to buy it online. To call on this aspect is two areas. He has to find the product and show its buying process. Potential users who usually perform these tasks are internet users worldwide who are comfortable with e-commerce and yield for convenient shopping. It can be either male or female, mostly in the age group 20 to 55. Additionally, users are the ones who have hectic schedules and may not have time to venture in shopping malls and stores. It is suited for ones who are handicapped disabilities where shopping can deem a trial for them. So now I'm going to demonstrate both websites and undo the process and see its usability if it's most effective. My way of demonstrating this website is actually going to do the process of a project subject X is supposed to do. So if we were to look at the home page of Amazon, that's the first area we should look at because a home page is vital. This actually is the risk taking factor here. Is it that break or make and home page supposed to be fairly attracted to keep a user on the website and have them returning back. So Amazon actually is doing like what a magazine is supposed to do is advertising a product which we have option with advertisements they can click on links and see what product they want. We have products advertised here, categorized in different categories. So the homepage is fairly attractive. Everything is organized. Things are not jumbled. Walmart, on the other hand, similar concept. They have a slideshow where users can navigate backward and forward, advertising their products. Amazon is I mean, sorry, Walmart is actually doing a much better design because they have prices for their products. So if we were to look at this area here, they have the product, their price, description, and their ratings. Their products are categorized in different categories. We have movies, and in the bottom here is like a catalog. Different products showing deals, showing prices, showing images so their design is fairly attractive the ratings is a plus on the site something that i didn't see in amazon so our second area we should look at is navigation 
navigation or through the website is fairly important because a user doesn't want to be getting lost into into the website a user should be able to find its way through our pages being linked directly and quickly and easily and should a user be able to go back to the home page so at walmart we have a sidebar with all the five departments and if we were to hold but actually stop categorize in different categories so our user has to look for an ipad so directly on the electronics page we have a link for ipads here so our user looks at ipad And note our user had to find an iPad under $500. So if we were to look at the home page of an iPad, it's attractive. We have featured here a latest product, which and its price, its rating. We have the option of choosing colors. Here a user can filter through the price category here. So a user would to select $500 directly and it is automatically directed to different products. And our user here can be able to browse through the product and choose it. He has option of choosing his model and his condition. So let's see if Amazon fare really well in this area. So our user navigation here similarly has the same concept. The user can browse through and select. So our user here goes through electronics and able to select the category and if you were to notice that Amazon doesn't have it like Walmart where Walmart actually had subcategories it just had here we have subcategories but it's not broken down like Amazon had on the tablet iPad so um I will use a class to do some browsing here in Amazon so we were to click on the laptops and tablet and we go to the home page here which we still haven't been able to link to iPad as quick as Walmart so we here have basically a home page advertising all types of laptops and tablets products and our user still has to browse through to find its product we have some links here with prices here but we still search it so we have a next link here tablets and like Walmart, we were actually directed to iPad page. We have no tablets, which we still had to browse through and find out what product we want. Up to now, I haven't even seen any iPad. So I guess we may have to filter through and search through our products. So we have iPad accessories, so let's see. accessories different kind of products is coming up here if you realize so I would say Amazon is making it harder to find a product rather than to find a product at Walmart this is giving Walmart actually a greater advantage because we are directly linked to iPad, but Amazon would have to search through properly. So let's look at the next area our website should have and let's see if we can find it easier than Amazon. Search menu. Now, when one goes to our home page, a search menu is quite important because one doesn't like how we have to be browsing through iPad here and Amazon. We don't want to go through our whole process, so we just want to go to the search bar and type iPad and get, I mean, save time. It's about five minutes here searching through, and we haven't been any success as yet. So, straight to the home page, back to the home page. Because I'm going to demonstrate. Because I'm going to demonstrate to the home page to find any product. So, Amazon here, we're going to type the word iPad. We're going to type the word iPad and see if we can filter through our search. And voila. We have the different categories. We can look through all departments, electronics. We have Aside from iPad, we have different products, accessories to it. We have the product itself. So, iPad and electronics. User is directed to the iProduct products. Now, to make Amazon find our product in Amazon much easier, 
navigating was deemed more difficult but if we were to go through the search bar we can find the product what we want and here we see ratings one time and our product prices but let's say if you want to subcategorize we can do that we have the sizes we have the brand we have the sizes we have the brand we have the conditions and we have our price range over there so Walmart made it easy for us to search through the toolbars search the sidebars but let's see if we can use our search bar now before I do this I have to, I forgot I supposed to show the search bar how it's located on the home page and similarly just like Amazon is actually front and central in the home page makes it easy for you to find so we go in here we're gonna type our iPad and our search bar and Bala similarly like Amazon we can find electronics we see accessories coming up as well so we're going to click iPad and electronics and here we have our options of different products we actually see more organization in Walmart because Walmart here actually has our options our models separated on top so we don't have to browse you to find exactly like you so I want to find the iPad Air 2 he don't have to browse you the whole thing to find iPad Air 2 he can select on iPad Air 2 here and voila list of iPad Air 2 products with their prices and the range ratings and here on the side he can select what price range he wants so he's supposed to get one no less than $500 so let's select this category here and see if he's successful we get to see the different products and get to select so if we were to look at the search bar both sides are actually successful both sizes exactly to want we get to type in iPad the word automatically come up the link automatically come up and when we click on links actually directs us directly to where we want it to go Amazon was harder to search through because we have to brush through a hundred products to find what we want to turn up 500 ways but things were fairly good on both sides because aside from such an iPad our user could have the advantage and it broadens our mind because we realized instantly we have to get accessories so both sides were able to display accessories as well to remind our users that how you know you can buy more products to enhance your product which actually is a win-win situation for both company and the user because the user gets to modify its product as well as the company gets to receive more sales the area we should look at is demonstration of readability because most of the content on the site is text it is vital to ensure that everything is readable and legible let's see how both websites fail in this area so we're gonna look at the different things so if we were to look at Amazon here their contrast is fairly well they went safe black and white contrast the writing is in dark colors black blue red green and the background is white so the vision is not blurry I use can easily read the font is simple straight font and titles are in you can see titles are in a larger font size and prices are in red pictures and colorful images and it is actually visual perfectly because you can hover over the product and view it links are in different colors now let's look back at Walmart Walmart page is I find the color is more beautiful they have a nice blue and white background their writing is actually a little bigger than Amazon their font size is a larger size you can easily identify the items there's a good contrast we can read it's legible there is no chaos because everything is fairly organized if we were to look at all departments colors and font is blue but somehow I can see this gray but somehow I feel an elderly person might have a little problem with the gray but if you were to hope for it actually goes darker so it can pass 
from this analysis, we can make formative conclusions about walkthroughs that we just observed. The first approach to be taken is observing the task at hand that is finding the product. Both Amazon and Walmart take different approaches to displaying and filtering product search results. Because of this, comparison is made on the overall ease of use of each website based on the task of asking a question, finding an iPad no more than $500. Based on the observation, Walmart has a greater advantage mainly because it displayed more precise results after one entered iPad into search bar. It was easier to navigate the results promptly and filter easily to find the price range. Meanwhile, the search results on Amazon were tougher as one has to sift through the hundreds of thousands of products to find an iPad within $500 range. The search was more general as iPad related items such as accessories was results too. Amazon was not even included the latest products on top of their search results which can make it confusing to some users. In terms of using filter tools to narrow search results, both sites contain it in different methods. Amazon does not have a specific filter tool that is more apparent than Walmart, whose filter is on the left hand side, but they do have the ability to if the users know where to look. Amazon has a more difficult time finding the product fitting its criteria than Walmart, specifically because Walmart is easily filtered by price. However, Amazon users have to scroll through number of pages to fit the parameters which can somewhat be a turn off or continuation of resetting the search. In terms of actual purchase of an item, both Amazon and Walmart are equal in terms of the ease of moving through the blind flow. Both have best in user experience from adding to cart the success of purchasing the product. To conclude, many lessons can be learned from this exercise. Firstly, the comparison strongly proves that less is better in web design. It is unnecessary to simplify the components either in visual flow. Even if there is a lot of functions to display, visual highlight or visual hierarchy is important in layout. Furthermore, ease of accessibility is quite important. It is vital that the design of the interface is going to adapt to people, rather than them making an effort to adapt to it. Finally, the following principle must always bear in mind. Do not make users think. Don't waste their patience. Thank you for making time for this presentation and I hope that you enjoyed it.